name is Ming Ta Lin, and I'm the president of uh, the uh, Olympia Area Chinese Association. The major function of this organization now as the community expands um, is, you know, going beyond just preserving the traditional Chinese culture or exchange the culture um, aspects, you know, with the community. The whole uh, organization actually hosts, you know, families mostly from China and from Taiwan and from Hong Kong and some of them even from Vietnam. And we also host some American family. Uh, a lot of them actually uh, uh, adopted their kids, you know, their children from China. So they wanted to, they have their adopted children uh, have some exposure to their original culture. So how uh, does this pandemic, you know, affect the Chinese community in the South Sound? Uh, I would say, yeah, we suffer pretty much the same thing, you know, as everybody here in town. But there's one more thing, you know, that's remarkably uh, suffering to us, is that we're not able to visit our relatives, our family, our friends in China. Most of the flights were canceled, you know, between China and USA. Sometimes there are emergency, you know, sometimes their parents uh, pass away. They were just not able to, you know, to be there. So that has been very difficult. We were bothered by the recent, uh, recently raised the issue about the anti, the anti-Asian um, hate crimes. Yeah, uh, I want to, I want to say on behalf of the Chinese community, uh, we condemn that, and uh, and not only that's a crime, but it's a act of cowards. Yeah, if you are being a good member of the community, you help, you don't attack, yeah, you don't hurt member of the community, regardless of the races, regardless of their gender, regardless of their age group. But unfortunately, we're, still, we're seeing that you know some other places in the country. Um, I haven't heard anything here locally, yeah. So that, you know, we, we're comforted. There shouldn't be any anti, any racial, you know, uh, hatred. Yeah, because again, that does not help our community. It only destroy the places where you live. And that's our voice. A little more, um, you know, uh, introduction about the Chinese community as well. Uh, not only we have a OACA, uh, we even have a, a Chinese uh, Christian church. So that's been uh, playing a very active role as well as you know, uniting people, especially Chinese community, uh, within the community. Under the organization, uh, I need to particularly, you know, make a remark on this: is we have a Chinese school. Yeah, with a very uh, a little registration fee, uh, you can go to the Chinese school. In addition to the Chinese school, we have an OD school <laughs> under OACA. We have classes every day for one hour. Okay, for instance, Monday, right now we are teaching yoga. And then Tuesday we're teaching um, modern or traditional dances. So that's what we have been doing since uh, November. So how do you, you know, attend to these classes? Very, very easy. Go to our website, olympiachinese.org. Open up the, the web mail. Just email us, and we'll send the information for you to join the class. This is open to public. It's not limited to Chinese or Chinese community. We want you know, as, many as, as many people here in, in town to, to share all this with us. And also, we have chat groups. Uh, which is very powerful. It's been very powerful for members to communicate within and between and, uh, and among all of them uh, to exchange the information. And a lot of that goes to the pandemic information. And in addition to that, uh, we're able to celebrate Chinese New Year this year now. <laughs> yeah, because back in 2020, we were actually ready to go. And the governor, uh, you know, announced the guideline, you know, for the pandemic. Uh, situation, so we have to call it off. We jump through our hoops to do the celebration in real time on Zoom meeting, and we have two to three hundred audiences, you know, join the celebration uh, on the air. And uh, so that was fantastic. You know, people were able to at least have some touch of this joyful um, moment of Chinese New Year.